Hello students, today we are going to start our first chapter of science that is crop production and management. Students, as you know, we all need food to live, right? For carrying out various life processes like digestion, excretion and all, we will require energy which we get from food. Now, from where we get food? We get food from plants. Plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis as we know now we are having large population in our country how we are able to provide them food then food has to be grown on a large scale right so for that we are adopting various agriculture practices now what are agriculture practices farmer adopt various tasks to grow the crops which we refer to as agriculture practices so first is what are crops when same kind of plants are grown at a place on a large scale is called crop means if you are growing a crop of wheat then all the crop of the all the crops should be of wheat only okay that is called crop so as we know india is a very vast country climatic conditions are different from region to region so according to that difference we have you know two broad cropping patterns that are kharif crop and rabi crops first we will discuss about the kharif crops kharif crops which are grown in rainy seasons the raining season in india is generally as we know from june to september paddy may soya bean are the kharif crops because they need lots of water to grow that's why they are grown in the rainy seasons next is the rabi crop rabi crops are grown in the winter winter season as their time period we know generally from october to march examples are wheat gram peas all these are the rabi crops so class we for for the production of the crops we need some basic to do some basic practices we'll discuss about this in this so agriculture practices are first is preparation of soil second is sowing third is adding manure and fertilizers fourth is irrigation fifth is protection from weeds sixth is harvesting and seventh is storage so first we will discuss about the preparation of soil as you know students preparation of soil is the first step before growing the crop because as we know we are not having the even land for the cropping and all first we need to you know uh, level it properly for the proper growth of the crops so for that we need to plow the field what is plowing now plowing is loosening the soil using the various agricultural implements like we use hoe plow to loosen the soil okay while loosening is important it helps to grow the you know microbes in the present in the soil the, the roots can breathe properly while the uh, if the soil is loose so the agricultural implements for our plow hoe cultivator you can see in the picture plow plow is having the wooden handle and the iron blade which is used to you know dig the soil and next one is the hoe and the cultivator which is used to cultivate the soil next step for the agriculture practice is sowing which is the most important thing for grow a plant or a crop sowing what is sowing sowing is the process of putting the seeds in the soil for the growth of the plant for so, uh, for the good quality of the plant what we need for the selection of the seeds now how can we select the qualities of the seeds which seeds are healthy or which seeds are not healthy how can we can do a activity for this for this what you have to do you can take a glass a uh, glass bowl with some water put some wheat seed, wheat grains in the bowl leave them undisturbed for some time you will observe that some seeds settle at the bottom while some floats on the surface of water the seeds which settle at the bottom that are the heavy seeds means that are the good seeds and seeds which float on the water surface that are the lighter seeds means means that are the damaged seeds by this activity you can select the quality of the seeds before sowing the seed students we must know about the tools used for sowing the seeds 
traditional tools it will discuss in traditional tools uh, methods for sewing the seed you can see in the picture traditional tool, tool for sewing the seeds is shaped like funnel funnel shape funnel is used to fill with the seeds and pass down through the two three pipes having sharp ends and from feeds the soil and place the seeds there and but these days in the modern era we are using the seed drill which is you know uh, connected with the tractor and used to drag the uh, drill along with the tractor uh, now what is the function of these seed drills or the advantages it, the seed drill sow the seed at the proper depth and at the appropriate distance it ensures the seed should be covered with the soil after it's sown it also prevents the damage from the birds and all plus we are talking about the appropriate distance it's the a uh, very important thing to learn that it is a proper distance between the seeds is very important why to avoid overcrowding of the plants when the you know number of plants grow together it uh, you know there will be a co competition between the plants to get nutrients water or the sufficient sunlight so to avoid that overcrowding we need to uh, sow the seeds at the appropriate distances class next is the adding manure and fertilizers now what are the manure and fertilizers these are substances which is added to the soil to enhance the fertility of the soils which contains the nutrients you know uh, farmers grow the crops again and again in the fields that you know affects the fertility of the soil and for grow, for the growth of a healthy crop as we know we need a sufficient or the fertile soil we add manure that is organic substance that is made from the decomposition of plant and animal waste for enhancing the fertility of the soil so uh, you can see the difference between them fertilizers and manure fertilizers are in organic soils but manure obtained from the decomposition of the cattle dungs and all fertilizers are prepared in factory and manures can be prepared in the field fertilizers do not provide any humus because it is made from the chemicals but manure provides humus to the soil because it is made from the dead decaying matter that leads lots of humus to the soil fourth is the fertilizers are rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium but manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients so we'll discuss about the advantages of manure now advantages of manure improving soil fertility and soil structure means manure increases the soil fertility and smoothen the soil structures supply nutrients to the plant soil organic status also you know maintains uh, prevents soil erosion activity of the microbes organisms also increases uh, weed controls amelioration of the soil problems weeded soil about all the soil problems and prevents from the soil erosion and all one more method to increase the fertility of the soil that is crop rotation farmers also replenish the lost nutrients by the field by growing the crops in rotation that is that what it is called crop rotation you can see in the picture students that in the year 1 like in the first bed we are growing tomato second beans third is carrot but in the second year we you know interchanging them like in place of tomato we are growing carrot in place of beans we are growing tomatoes and in place of carrots we are growing beans and again in the third season what we are doing in place of carrots we are growing beans in place of tomato we are growing carrots and in place of beans we are growing tomato so this is called crop rotations that is uh, season to season changing of the crops the, uh, by this you know and it enhances the quality of the soil uh, nutri uh, nutrients are rich in the soil so students this is all about today so rest of the topics we will cover in the next ppt so go through